hello and welcome you all to another exciting tutorial and today we're going to learn how to convert your python code into real installable software using this method i'm going to show you you can easily share your amazing apps that you have built with someone or a friend and install the software on their computer even if they don't have python running on the machine so let's get started first off i've created a spotify app using tkenter in python and if you want to see how I did it, check out the video linked in the description where I covered each and every step. You can also download the whole source code from my GitHub. I will drop the link in the video description. So inside your project folder, you will need to have an icon for your app, which should be a .ico file. And here is the assets folder, which contains all the images used in coding the app. And the next thing we're going to do is to head over to pypi.org website and then we're going to install a package called PyInstaller. So PyInstaller is a software tool used in Python programming that is used to convert Python code into standalone executable files. This means that our Python code along with any dependencies will be converted into single file that can run on a computer without Python installed. I will drop the link in the video description so that you can go directly to the website. So copy the installation command here and open up your terminal window. Then paste the command and hit enter. The installation might take a bit time, so be patient. And once it's done, we are ready to move on. Now let's use PyInstaller to compile our Python code into standalone application. So back to our project. I will then open the terminal window. And make sure you are in the same directory as the app.py and type in the following command exactly alongside with me. If you have some typos in your command, your Python script won't compile and you'll receive an error message. So make sure you type the same thing exactly as I do. py installer then dash dash one dir which is one directory then dash dash no console which means our application won't have a terminal console. Then dash dash icon. And that's our software icon, which I'm gonna specify the spotify.ico file. And lastly, the name of our application, which is gonna be app.py, and then hit enter. Now, PyInstaller is compiling our Python code along with other dependencies into an executable software that can run on a computer without Python. And the compilation is going to take a while to finish, depending on your computer. Alright, we have compiled our Python application successfully. Now, let's head over to our project folder and take a closer look at the files PyInstaller generated for us. So, you'll notice a build folder. And this folder contains temporary files and other bytecode. So, you can safely ignore it for now. And instead, Focus on the dist folder, which is short form distribution. This folder contains everything you need to distribute your Python application as standalone software. And you might be wondering about this app.spec file. This is a component generated by PyInstaller during the compilation process. You can ignore that also. So within the dist folder, you will find another folder named after your application. Inside this folder, you see your application's icon. However, when you try to run the app, you might encounter an error. And this error indicates that our Python app is not able to access the images and other files used in coding the software. So to fix this problem, I'm going to close this error message and return to our main application folder. From there, locate the asset folder containing the images and other necessary files. Finally, Copy this assets folder and then head back to our distribution. Inside app, we're going to paste our asset folder inside this folder. And when you are done, we're going to head back and open our Spotify app once again. Now, your application should run smoothly without any errors. This is awesome, right? So now, we're going to start the next step where I'm going to show you how to create an installer for your app. For that, we're going to need a software application called InnoScript Studio. InnoScript Studio is a free tool that is designed for creating Windows app installers. So to get started, head over to the download section here and simply click on the download link to download the software on your computer. 
Once the download is complete, go ahead and install InnoScript Studio on your computer. After the installation, you can find the program on your desktop folder. Open the app and you'll see something similar to this. Now, let's begin creating our installer. Click on Create a new script file using Script Wizard to get started. In the wizard, click on OK to proceed. Once again, click on Next. Here, you will need to give your application a name. Let's call it Spotify. You can also specify the version of your app, the name of your company if applicable, and your company's website. For now, I'm going to leave this input as they are and then click on Next to continue. Next, you will specify the destination folder for your application. This is where all the application files will be extracted when someone installs the software on their computer. Typically, this is the program's files folder. Then, click Next to move on. Now, you will need to specify the main executable file for your application. Navigate to the project folder, then go to the dist folder. Select the main executable file for your app, and then click on open. Now, let's add the remaining files for our app. Click on the Add Folder button here and navigate to your desktop folder. Under the dist folder, select the folder named after your app and then click on OK. This prompt is asking us to create a subdirectory. Click on Yes. Then, click on Next on this page to proceed. On this page, specify your application name as Spotify and change the application file type extension to .exe, then click on the next button to continue. Click next again on the following page. For the language selection, choose all and click next once more. Now, for the compiler output folder, I'm going to select my desktop folder and click on OK. Then, enter Spotify as the software file name for our app. And for the application setup icon, I'm going to select on the Spotify.ico file from our project folder as the application icon and click on Open, then click Next. On the next page, click Next again. Finally, hit the Finish button. Then click Yes to compile our app. Since I don't want to save the script, then I'm going to click on No here. Now, the compilation of our application is in progress and we will need to wait a while for the packaging to finish. When it's done, you will find the Spotify software installer on your desktop folder. Open it and proceed to the installation. I'm going to choose this post to create a desktop icon during the installation process. Click Next and hit the Install button. Once the installation is complete, click on Finish and launch the app. This is awesome, right? Now our software is complete. So if you want to share the software with someone, all you need to do is to share this installer we just created on our desktop folder. Finally, if you want to learn how to build more than GUI applications using Python, check out my video in the description where I will show you how to use drag and drop editor to build more than Python apps. See you next time and as always, take care.